Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Joyce. In this video, we're going to teach our dog some tricks and very specific tricks. This is the novice trick dog checklist and they give you 20 tricks. I've chosen 10 and I'm going to teach Nikki those 10 tricks today. And after I've taught her the tricks, I'm going to make a video and submit it online to the American Kennel Club. Then Nikki will be awarded the Trick Dog Novice title. So I thought it would be fun. I've chosen 10 tricks to teach Nikki. So we're going to start with touch. The first trick on the list we're going to teach is touch. Open hand, either the back of your hand or the palm, down to your dog, and when your dog touches your hand, you're going to click or say yes. Good girl. Lots of praise while you're doing it. Let her know she's doing a great job. And good job, Nick. Good job. Good. And we're going to reward her. When you've done this and your dog is touching your hand freely, then you can add the word touch. Nikki, touch. Good job. All right. Nice job. This is a pretty fun one to teach, and it's great for redirecting your dog away from dogs and people and barking. Nikki, Nikki, touch. Good. Nice job. So that one is touch. We're also going to do it touching a lid. Just a plain lid. This is a great way to the beginning of teaching your dog to open the cupboard door or to close it. We're going to put it down to her and we're going to say, Nikki, touch. Good girl. Nikki, touch. Good girl. Lots of praise when they're touching so your dog knows that they're doing it right. So this is the first trick we've chosen on the novice trick dog checklist. Touch. Good. Nice job. The next fun trick to teach your dog is to crawl. In order to crawl, your dog has to learn to lie down. So if your dog doesn't know how to lie down, look at one of my videos on teaching a puppy to lie down. You can either lean down with them or lay or kneel down on the floor, whatever you want to do. Key is move your hand just an inch. Let your dog lean forward without getting up and you click and feed. So let's see if we can get Nikki to crawl. We're going to start her back here and we're going to ask her down. Good. And I'm going to keep my hand close to the ground. Good girl. Free dog. Now eventually we're going to get her to crawl a lot more steps without food. Down. Good girl. Okay. Crawl. Good girl. <laughs> yes, that's a cute one too. Crawl. Good girl. That is the second trick that we're going to teach. Third one is we're going to teach your dog to go in a box and sit down. So our third trick is to have Nikki get in the box and to sit in the box. You'll know that I captured the behavior the entire time. So as soon as I put down this box, when she puts her head near it or in it, I'm going to click. And I'm going to give her a piece of chicken. Good girl. We're going to wait for her to do something, whatever it is. Now she knows already that if she puts a foot in the box or she paws at the box, whatever she does, this is a great part about positive training that you are rewarding her for offering. You can see how 
in a very short period of time, Nikki has learned that putting two feet in the box is fun. Now we got the two back feet in. Let's see if we can get all four in. I think I have to get a bigger box. Don't think she's fitting. Let's go on to our next trick. And that is jumping over a jump. Our next trick is for your dog to go over a small jump. But you can use anything. Great way to teach weight as well, because I'm gonna tell Nikki, wait. Nikki, jump. Good girl. And Nikki likes to jump, so this is easy for her. Nikki, jump. Good girl. In the beginning, I had her on a leash, and I went over the jump with her many times. Nikki, jump. Good girl. And then gradually go around the jump while your dog goes over until finally your dog will go over the jump on their own. Nikki, jump. Good girl. Nikki, jump. Good job. Good girl. Next, we're going to teach Nikki to spin. First thing you want to do is get her to stand. Have a steady stand before you ever start the spin. So we're going to ask Nikki to stand. And I'm going to click and I'm going to feed. And I'm going to click and I'm going to feed. So that she knows that standing is what I want. Girl. Okay. Now I'm going to take some pieces and I'm going to go around in a circle and I'm going to feed her for each quarter turn. And finally, all the way around. Now we're going to do two treats as we go around. One at the back and one there. Remember, she has to keep standing. Now we're going to do just one treat all the way around. Good. So the goal of this is to do this, of course, without a treat in your hand. And we'll get to that. And how you accomplish that is you hold the treat in one hand and you feed with the other so that they never get the treat that's in that hand. So we'll work on that this week until Nikki will spin without a treat in my hand. The next trick we're going to do is what we call go to bed. It's called kennel up on the sheets. So Nikki, go to bed. Good job. Well, we do this every day. So that one's an easy one for her. But if you'd like to learn how to do it, then it's demonstrated in the video, how to crate train your puppy with crate games. And what I say to her is, Nikki, go to bed. Good girl. Good girl. Free. Good girl. Come on, go back. Good job. This trick is to find an object or a treat under a cup. Let's put two treats under the cup and it down there. And let's see if Nikki can find them. We're going to have Nikki find the treats under the cup from a little further away. On your mat. Good girl. Good girl. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, find it. Good girl. She found one, she found two, and now she's finding the third one. Good. Now, next trick we're gonna do is to have Nikki get on something. She loves to jump, so this one should be easy too. Up on the bench, good girl. She likes to sit on things. If your dog doesn't like to sit on things, then do it a little at a time. Feed for paws up, feed for helping them uh, until they jump up on their own. Make sure you have a firm surface. Nikki, on the bench. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Sit. Good lady. So good. Okay. Off the bench. Good girl. Nikki, on the bench. Good. Good job. 
He on the bench. Good lady. Good girl. Now this trick is just something Nikki loves to do. And that is take a bow. So we're gonna put that in as our bonus. You can teach take a bow. First of all, by starting a dog standing. And as they're standing, take your hand down between their front paws so that they will collapse their elbows and keep their rear in the air. So this one isn't hard for her. So when she does, I just click and give her a treat. And all of a sudden you have a dog that's bowing. Nikki, take a bow. Good girl. She likes to bow. Good girl. So those are the 10 tricks that Nikki and I have taught this afternoon. Go to akc.org, look for the trick dog title application. This will give you the checklist for novice dog. You can choose 10 of the tricks. And I hope you have fun with your dog doing these tricks as I did with Nikki. Good girl, you're so good. Good girl. Here are two videos you might enjoy. First one, how to teach your dog not to beg at the table. And if you have a puppy, you never want them to guard. This is how to prevent resource guarding in puppies. Hope you enjoy both of them. Thank you for watching my video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.